Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, August 22nd of 2017. I just received this microphone. And as you can see from the screen, uh, it comes, it's a complete kit. And it's a really amazing price for for the money. Uh, let's open the box. I'll show you these items and then I will stop and hook this up and you'll be able to hear the sound and uh, then we'll see what happens because by the way here's the little instruction pamphlet the reason I say that is this is a condenser mic, the BM-800. I'm familiar with this uh, unless they've modified it in some way, which I doubt. The BM-800. And it's a condenser mic. And the condenser mics need phantom power. Uh, 40, I think it's 48 volts. Uh, that's what this box here is. This is a condenser mic. It's not the uh, BM-800, but it's a condenser mic. I do have another BM-800, a different brand name on it, but this box here for this condenser mic provides the phantom power. Now, this condenser mic comes with this cable that uh, plugs into the bottom of here and this goes into a regular microphone input jack on your computer and I have never I've had like I've, I've had this identical mat in fact I had purchased one that came in the past with this cable and with this plug I didn't even bother to attempt to plug it into my computer input jack because I had seen reviews on Amazon and I had uh, seen YouTube videos I believe where people now there's a few there's always a, there's a few people say oh you know works great but the vast majority of them say it would not work and that they had to get some type of a sound card device or something that provided uh, 48 votes uh, for this device. So I'm going to go ahead and try it this time since this all came as a kit. I'm going to try see what happens when I just plug this into the input jack and I'll give you a sample of the sound maybe it'll work I don't think so I don't think it's going to work but anyway this kit comes with everything what is this I don't know what this is let's see it's this white let's see Hmm. Shows a microphone and a headset. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This plugs into USB and you plug a microphone in there and you plug a headset in there. So do they intend... I may have to try this. I guess I should look at the instructions first. I've not seen this before. So is this, I can't believe that this small uh, device would put out 48 volts. We're going to have to see. Uh, this comes with a very nice pop screen or whatever they call it. 
I never use one, but it probably that'd be a good idea. That'd be a good idea for me to use one. Well, a condenser mic really is supposed to be up close to your face, and I don't want it that close. So you know, I crank it up a little bit. Looks like the looks like this is a nice microphone. Uh, Because I've had one of these that came before with a different. Well, I have several of these. Well, there's one on this which came with this microphone. And this is all metal, I believe. It looks metal, feels metal. But this one also, this one feels good. But I've had some that uh, don't feel very well. This one also looks like it will fit this microphone very well. Another way to mount the microphone. Oh, this, <clears throat> this feels good too. Um, over the years I have had, I don't, you know, lamps and microphone stands that uh, screw, you know, go down and uh, they just haven't, they'll fall over, it just won't support them or whatever. And this, this feels, that's real metal. I've had them, I think, that are plastic. Uh, or, or tin, this feels like it's a, also this is a very thick desk here. Unusually thick. And I think this might might work. Okay. So far all this stuff is really looking first class. Okay. Like I said, I've not had good luck with the over a, years and years and years. This is a very popular, I've had lamps. I think I even have a lamp in the uh, closet. I should just throw the thing away because, yes, this feels, this feels better. I think these people may have, this feels better. screws into there, doesn't it? And this goes down in there, and this screws in to hold it. And then this also, we can hook this this is the way we, I would be, uh, now this is plastic here, which kind of concerns me, but everything else is, but that screws into there. This may work. Okay. A lot of stuff, uh, price really, that uh, it's about the price of, I think, you might normally pay for them, just for the microphone. And uh, gonna have to find out what this is, but I don't want to do this. Uh, I'll hook this. Well, I'll look at the instructions here, and then I'll be back, and we will see how this works. Don't touch the mouse. Okay, I'm back. I didn't want to waste. <clears throat> I wanted to find out right away, so. I don't have the microphones. I just plugged the mic in, went into the adjustment settings, and wanted to give this a try. So, um, on the scales, it looked okay. So, let me try it right here. This is about where you should have a condenser mic, but I would not 
want to do it unless I had to have it that close. I want to have it further away. So I'm going to stop now and check this audio. Because if you're not hearing me, you're going to tune out of the video really quick. So hang on one second. We're going to check this out. Okay, I am amazed. I'm amazed that this is... Uh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Okay, I had, I didn't, I had the screen that I just watched was on top of and I thought the video had stopped. I, I forgot that I had played the part three or whatever. So I've never held one of these microphones. <laughs> but, uh, well, I am flabbergasted. This microphone sounds good. Um. I didn't even think it would work because it's plugged, all it is is plugged into the microphone input on my computer. Apparently this, by the way, uh, is for a computer that doesn't have, like a, uh, what are they, uh, for a Mac notebook or laptop, something like that. So if you don't have a microphone input, uh, you could use this apparently. So I guess I have to eat crow or uh, admit. So now I have to rethink things because, well, put the microphone out here a ways. I think it's, the volume is down quite a bit, but maybe I could go in and crank it up. Um, I think this sounds. I think this sounds really good, and I'm not. You, I. This would. I. In fact, it sounds so good that I unplugged this power supply for this microphone just to make sure. I'd gone in the settings and disabled it, but it sounded so good. I went in and uh, pulled the USB power to that. Uh, I am amazed. So you can get all this stuff for a pretty good price and this looks like it works and it looks like it works. Now I wonder if I'm one of those people, I wonder if it's, well let me say that. If you purchase this and you plug it into your, you use this cable and you plug it into your microphone input and it doesn't work for you or if the you know, it's just not enough volume or whatever. Uh, you can get this cable, which I I did in the past, with this adapt with this on each end. I can't pull it off and show it to you right now. But with this, and you can then go in. You can purchase a phantom power supply. Uh, there's a bunch of a whole bunch of them, but really nice. Um, I wonder if we're getting right and left speakers. I wonder if you can hear this on the on your right and left speaker. A little difficult for me to tell. I'm using the Sound Blaster um, tower there, and all the speakers and microphones, which I don't use, are built into that thing. So. So that's something to look into. But I guess what I'll do now is move this microphone, move the micro, take the microphone stand away, that microphone. Well, I could leave that microphone stand and not use this. Guess I'll do that. So, uh, anyway, let me test this again. 
Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Let me put it over here where this mic is, the other mic is located. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. I'm wondering about this. Well, let me go ahead and do that. It's okay. Don't touch the mouse. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I guess this is the the final. Um, I disconnected the other microphone, the uh, phantom or the mixer. Um, I hooked up the uh, stand went to this desk because this thing here was too narrow to really put it on. I could put it on here. Well, you can't see really can't. Well you can see. Um, the only thing I'm wondering about is if you want to use this microphone further away I think you may need the but what I just noticed right here underneath this package here's what you know you get and here is a uh, phantom power supply for nineteen dollars I have two of those by the way and uh, I see that it shows that it comes with the cable that you need where you have well I put the cable over there but where you need the I forget what they call it on each end um, let me show you the settings. I'm running Windows 10 by the way. Okay, this is for playback. Now, for playback I'm using my Sound Blaster card, so it's uh, or Sound Blaster thing, so it's uh it's listed there and it's the default device. Now the recordings where we want to go to and you can see down here um, it's showing that this is headset SA810 um, I reviewed that headset or owned that headset and I think I went, oh that's what I did, yeah I went in and named it okay that's what I need to do uh, where is it? Properties here. Ah, okay. So I, that's what I did. So I need to name this. Uh, I'll just name it with the 800, not the, uh, so, okay. That's, that, that says, Okay, well, let me click on the property though here too. Okay, I already saved that. So property. Okay, that's just a driver, and the I don't need to change that. Yeah, this uh, this thing looks like a fantastic deal. And if you do need the extra boost or something, uh, you can go with the. 48 volt phantom power supply and hold it well that's here, 10 feet of XLR cable so it's XLR on each end uh, because the cable that they send you with this is uh, XLR to plug into the mic and uh, a 1.8 what 1.8 oh 3.5 here it is 3.5 jack on the other end, so okay. Uh, levels, I think I got them cranked. Yeah, I do have them cranked all the way up. See if any enhancements, advance shows the two channels. So I think I'm going to have when you're listening to this, I think you'll hear the audio coming out of the right and the left channel or your speakers. So I think everything's okay. Uh, my only thing is
am I going to be happy with having the and most people do that we use condenser mics if you see uh, podcast or uh, videos or things the people have this these condenser mics almost in their mouth and uh, I may have to operate this one like this or also I noticed when I was hand holding it that uh, I have never hand held any of the other mics that I've used the Blue Yeti the uh, all the others that I've tried but the, with them, it uh, seemed like I didn't. With this one, it seemed like like when I was kind of talking into the end down here, when I was moving it around. It really, really, this one seems to. Although I have a feeling that a bunch of these mics that I've used are the same one, but it looked like I really need to talk into the diaphragm, which is right. You can see through the screen that it's uh, like this. So, uh, I don't think I need the windshield or pop screen or anything, but maybe I'll find out that I, that I do. Anyway, I definitely recommend this. I thank you very much for, uh, for watching.